just a little bit slowly away and going straight into the lead is superior finish at the first Bishop's Hall on the near side and Bishop's Hall lands in the lead from cogent and superior finish and then Grange break and then couldn't be better Monsieur Le Curie comes next and then rough quest as they come to the first of the four ditches Bishop's Hall for Ireland lands in the lead from cogent then comes superior finish and Grange break and Monsieur Le Curie and rough quest and couldn't be better on the outside then comes Chatham and give us a buck and black humor and earth summit the back marker over the third cogent landed in the lead there Cogent going on from Bishop's Hall and Superior finish with Grange break in four and five is couldn't be better as they race towards the next. Number four, Cogent. Lands in the lead from Bishop's Hall. Mistake there by Chatham who lost a little ground in the process. Earth Summit, the back marker of the 11 runners and the absence of one man and young hustler. Over the fifth, Cogent. Landed in the lead from Bishop's Hall and Superior Finish and Grange Break and Rough Quest on the inside of Couldn't Be Better as they begin the swing out of the back stretch and make their way for the first time towards the cross fence and it's the 1993 winner Cogent with the advantage from Superior Finish going second now just ahead of Bishop's Hall and then Grange Break and Couldn't Be Better and then comes Rough Quest and the back marker now is Black Humor, coming to the sixth. Cogent, from Superior Finish. And they're all safely over it, and beginning the left-hand swing now towards the straight on the first circuit. Cogent from Superior Finish. Grange Break and Bishop's Hall. It's just in behind them, couldn't be better. Another plain fence before the second of the ditches. Number seven, Cogent on the far side, Bishop's Hall in the center, Paul Carberry, then towards the left is Superior Finish and then Grange Break, rough quest over on the far side. Still not jumping very fluently as the four times course winner Chatham and all standing they come to this ditch. Second of the ditches. Bishop's Hall landed in the lead there and they're all safely over it, though once again Chatham didn't jump it too well and is getting reminders. At the ninth, Bishop's Hall, Grange Break, Cogent, Rough Quest on the far side. Behind them come Couldn't Be Better and then Superior Finish. As they run down to the fence, that will be the last next time. Number 10 of the 21 this time, Rough Quest lands in the lead from Bishop's Hall then Grange break superior finish Chatham and couldn't be better in Cogent and Monsieur Le Curie and then Earth Summit Black Humour and finally give us a buck the old man of the party over the water now and Rough Quest leading them by a good three lengths over it from Bishop's Hall for Ireland, then Grange break and Chatham on the inside and couldn't be better and behind couldn't be better is Black Humour making ground stealthily on the inside getting a rasting up there is Superior finish then comes Monsieur Le Curie on Earth Summit and give us a buck and Cogent has dropped right out of it and the 1993 winner looks as though he's going to be pulled up so over the far side rough quest Racing towards the 12th with a four length advantage over Bishop's Hall and Grange Break and then Chatham and still making ground on the outside, Black Humour. Couldn't be better, his stable companion right upside him, Monsieur Le Curie. Uh, still very well in contention over the third ditch and Rough Quest landed clear there. Rough Quest, a good five to six lengths leader now. Black Humour. Still moving up stealthily towards the outside with couldn't be better next as they jump the 14th. Then Grange break and then Chatham who once again made a mistake there. Monsieur Le Curie comes next. Then Superior finish. Getting reminders is Earth Summit who is really struggling now. The 15th and Rough Quest lands clear of Black Humour, couldn't be better in Chatham. And then Monsieur Le Curie, then Grange break and then Superior finish, then Earth Summit. 
and give us a back it looks as though he's going to be pulled up Bishop's Hall is trailing now six out and Rough Quest landed well clear of couldn't be better in black humour and then comes on the inside Chatham Monsieur Le Cure is making ground all the time then Superior finish then Grange break and then there's quite a long gap to Earth Summit and Bishop's Hall who looks like being pulled up himself racing now towards the cross fence in the 1995 Hennessy Gold Cup and it's Rough Quest the leader from Black Humour under Graham Bradley still improving stealthily then comes couldn't be better in third Monsieur Le Cure four Chatham five and Superior finish six seven and eight a Grange break and Earth Summit over this cross fence five out and another magnificent leap by the leader, Rough Quest, who's got a good four to five length advantage over Couldn't Be Better, who now moves into second ahead of his stable companion, Black Humor. Making ground all the time still is Monsieur Le Cure. Just in, beside, in behind uh, Monsieur Le Cure, Superior Finish, who's not out of it. They're coming down now towards the fourth last, and as they do so, the sheepskin nose band of Rough Quest showing prominently, moving over towards the center of the fence to jump it now. Rough Quest comes to it and jumps it ahead of Couldn't Be Better. Coming to the final ditch now, and Rough Quest coming to the third last he got a bit close to the fourth last how will he meet the final ditch rough quest in the lead from couldn't be better rough quest by two and a half from couldn't be better superior finish jumped in third monsieur le cure is four racing down now towards the second last in the hennessy and rough quest being chased all the time by couldn't be better and then superior finish rough quest it is by three lengths still from couldn't be better, but couldn't be better, making relentless progress now on the near side, and couldn't be better, looks to be troubling the best as they come to the final fence, and couldn't be better, has taken it up. Couldn't be better, is going to jump the last in the lead by two from Rough West with Superior finish three and four. Range break, and as they race up towards the line, it's couldn't be better under Dean Gallagher, striding away now from the long-time leader, Rough West with Superior finish, putting in a fast finish, but as they come to the line, couldn't be better, wins the 1995 Hennessy Gold Cup. Rough West just gets home second ahead of Superior finish third and four Grange break and five Earth Summit and six Monsieur Le Cure. And a long way back in seventh, the former winner who didn't jump too well this afternoon, Chatham. And finally pulled up were Black Humour and Give Us a Buck and also Bishop's Hall. And so the result of the 1995 Hennessy Cognac Gold Cup, the 39th running, first number eight. Couldn't be better. Owned by Mr. Dick Whittle, trained by Charlie Brooks, and written by Dean Gallagher. Second was number seven, Rough Quest. Owned by Mr. Andrew Waits, trained by Terry Casey, and written by Jamie Osborne. And third was number 11, Superior Finish. Owned by Mr. G. Henfrey, trained by Mrs. Jenny Pittman, and written by Warren Marston. And fourth was number 13, Grange break. Couldn't be better, the 15-2 to two winner. There's a lovely uh, shot of Graham Bradley. Congratulating Dean Gallagher. Poor Graham could have ridden this, but he couldn't have given it a better ride than Dean. He sat still beautifully, presented the horse beautifully at all his fences, and people, we talk about jockeys and strength in jockeys. Oh, there's uh, Warren Marston showing a little bit of strength just uh, on superior finish in third place, getting back on there. But Richard, what I'm trying to say is that uh, it's a lot of it is sitting still on horses and giving the horses confidence, and this is what he's done. Look, he's just eased to the front. The horse is loving it, doesn't know he's had a race. Yes, amazing that uh, Rough Quest should go and make the running. We, he's a known horse to be held up, and they changed. They hadn't planned to do so beforehand, but it's the way the race worked out. And he put up a good performance. Superior finish, Durley staying on from the back. He'll win a big race. But uh, couldn't be better, who, as we said, is better before Christmas and then seems to go off the boil. He's owned locally by uh, Dick Whittle, who ma makes his uh, training fees out of selling potatoes, growing and selling them. But Charlie Brooks, with two runners in the race here, on crutches today after a knee operation, he won't be feeling any pain. But well done for Ge Dean Gallagher, who, of course, uh, came in as the super sub for Dubasilla and showed his prowess in the saddle then and we had a lovely shot after the uh, finishes he was lying on the horse's neck and sort of just really saying well done we've done it dean a former flat race jockey showing his style here that's lovely you could see him there just pulling the horse around the water jump there gather him up together and as i said the horses loved that isn't he filled him so full of confidence Look. a lovely pass and to somebody like dean this is a, a huge moment he hasn't had the chances that he deserves 
given the horse a, a Frankie Dottori wave without his stick and uh, absolutely delighted. He can uh, go on and hope for some bigger and better rides now. Yes, I thought for a moment that Dean had lost his stick the way he was <laughs> remonstrating without it. But of course, there is a new rule now not to actually get too carried away for jockeys. Yes, I, I think you've just got to be a little bit uh, careful when you jump off them in case they duck from your stick when you're doing that or when you jump off if you do a Norman Williamson dismount. And uh, they are, he's leading the cheers, Dean, and I don't blame him. It's lovely to see a little bit of uh, celebration. I expect we'll see a, a flashy exit here. No, just an ordinary one. Um, but you